Hi, and thanks for watching. If you're new here, I'm Wendy and this is Nina's Jewels. My husband and I buy things at thrift stores, garage sales, and flea markets to sell online and flip for a profit. If that's content that interests you, stick around and make sure to hit that like button. It really helps us out as we're trying to grow our channel. Oh, there's some DVDs and stuff over here. Yeah, let's do this, bro. Oh my goodness, there's a lot. Another one. Oh, it's hats. Here, there's more. Oh, they're new tags. Nice. There's another one. Yeah. Look at all these. That's what I'm saying. There's more. Look. I think this bin is a, is a good one. Last time I found the book, this time I found a sealed DVD of The Pilgrim's Progress. I don't know. I mean, honestly, if it weren't so heavy, I mean, I might get this for me. Yeah. Like for real. I like this. Yeah, old school. We're doing it. Cool, look. Wounded Warrior Project. Sealed. Mm. All right, why don't, look at these and see what you think. Yeah, look, Robert, uh, we can try it. Maybe we should comp those. Yeah. There's some more. Look, there's a whole bunch of them. We can do a quantity. Some stars, little foil stars. Assorted pearls.
We always do good with West Trim Craft. in here. Here, this feels heavy. I can't read that. Oh, <laughs> look at that. I almost threw this, uh, threw this away. Pillow pet. Yeah, I can't see what this is, but it's on a I mean, I think it would sell. Yeah. That's all I'm concerned about. Ooh, a World of Warcraft binder. Wow, it's pretty trashed. I wonder if it would sell. It actually isn't very trashed. Really? On the inside, it looks kind of trashed. Yeah. Maybe it's not. It's in pretty good shape. Okay. You think we could, we'll Maybe comp it. Like that one's a comp. How's that? Oh, that one is light. And yeah. Oh, that's cool. Well, what's this? Check yeah. this. Look. Huh. That is neat. This is like Definitely. Yeah, good. Definitely good. Definitely good. Selfie kit? <laughs> you know what? We already have a selfie kit. We can add those. There we go. Is that um, you know what? I say it's so light, it's worth it. We could lot them together if we need to. anything oh check oh nice dolphin crayons um what is this this looks expensive that's some kind of scrapbooking cutter maybe i don't know it's hard to say let's comp that Look, little church 3D. <sighs> Wrapped. The hangover. Oh, it's a promo. Look at these. Oh, cool. Here's another. Okay, yeah. And then this hanging decoration. We could sell a party pack with the balloons and the hanging decoration. Yeah. Decorative knobs. Kids bow tie. Another kid's bow tie. There's the open package right there. More Another one. Yeah. I think that's the package right there. Right. Ooh. Nice. I think this one may be complete. Oh my goodness, there's more. 
There's a ton of those things. And then what do we have? Artsy sticker mix-ups. We got lots of stickers. Oh my God, look. Yeah, look at all this. It's just a... Uh, Hey look, primetime treasure hunter would go crazy. It's a mermaid. We should play some music there. Carrot headband. Oh, there's a couple. Yeah. Um, what is that? Oh. Here, here, look at this and see what you think. I can't tell exactly what that is. Like oh my god, there are so many of these, honey. Do you see how many I'm getting? Yeah, I do. There's something. Created a tiara. I got these little bows. Look. Yeah, I got a couple of bow ties in here. Yeah. Um, what do you think of this? I think it's clean enough to. I don't know. It's Is a little it clean? baby. It's hard to tell. Baby bib set. Gel I think it looks pretty clean. You, you do a double. Okay, it's probably good. Oh, this is cute. Oh yeah, that is cute. I think somebody would. There's some more of those books. This is open though. Another bow tie. Oh, more dolphin crayons! <laughs> I'm getting more of these. I mean, they're just everywhere. This bag is almost full already. My bag is full. My goodness. Look, another anymore. one. Another bow tie. And another craft. These look vintage. Let me see it. Why they're not? I don't, I don't know. Uh, I don't think so. They could be. These look like cheap boots to me. More dolphin crayons! I think the dolphin crayons will do well. Oh, here's another one. Did you get that other one? Well, there was one that, there was, one that was open, but I got that other one, yeah. Well, here's another one. Okay. Oh, gel clings? God, look at how many I'm saying there's just... Oh my, there's another one. <laughs> and there's some more. Look, mustaches. Nice. Oh, this one has tags. That's pretty cool. Is he clean? Yeah, he looks clean. Do you have room in your... <laughs> I'm getting full already. I know, I'm really disorganized too. Oh, look, here's another one of those hats. Yeah, I just picked one up.
some more dolphin crayons. You want a bin? I mean, we could use it. That's what I was saying. We could maybe get it in. It's trucker. Oh, here's another pillow pet. Yeah, maybe on is this one too ragged or no? Pretty ragged. I would skip that one. Maybe on this one? Maybe. But I am getting this string because my, my yeah, yarn sells yeah, well. My yarn sells, my yarn brings all the boys to the yard. What about these co wrapped coasters? This one looks pretty ratty too. Uh, maybe, They're wrapped and there's two of them. Okay. Maybe we can find some more. Okay. It's an entire thing of stickers. Oh, cool, nice. It's a lot of stickers. That's a Chick-fil-A right there. And another Brahms. Ah, look at these Brahms. Ah. Whataburger sunglasses. Hey, you can put one in yours. Oh, I found more turtle hats. Yeah, oh my God, we're gonna, we're gonna have such a quantity on these. We're gonna have like 40 of them. I think they're all Michelangelo too. Here's another one. Oh, 
Um, here, you mount comp this one. It's just a little to you, I think. Nylon twine. Nice. I'd use that for me. Man of Steel Blu-ray. Huh. I think I'll get that one. Emergency blank. Where does... I don't know if it works. Ooh, that is a crappy shade. Do you want to give it a shot? I don't know. See if it's... Look, emergency blanket. Nice. Skip it. Oh, yeah. That thing is rotting. DIY sun catcher ornament on it? Yeah, sure. Look, it's kind beard. Aha. More Patriot. See, look. I keep finding Patriotic stuff. Well, it wouldn't be a Goodwill trip if I didn't find some blank cars, now would it? It's an HP bag with... Ew, that's a crusty little mouse. Oh, but look, here's an old Logitech. Okay. Just gonna skip both of those. Okay. Oh, look, another bow tie. I'm finding all kinds of bow ties. Hey guys. So we did record the rest of our Goodwill trip, but unfortunately the video was like really messed up. It was at some kind of weird high speed. We don't know what happened, but we were able to source some amazing things in the remainder of our trip. So we're gonna go ahead and try to show those to you right now. So let's get started. And um, my husband is here with me on the other side of the camera. So he's gonna try to interject as I'm showing you a few things, but he refuses to be on camera and show his face, but he'll wave to you now. <laughs> so let's get started. Um, my husband found this shirt, this Pearl Snap um, Western Wrangler shirt. <clears throat> Bless you. <laughs> and it's in good shape, but it has some like bleaching around the inside of the collar. So we did price it a little bit low because of that, but otherwise it was in good shape. I like Pearl Snaps. He does like Pearl Snaps. And then he also found these new with tags, Union Bay cutoff shorts, um, which is not a brand that we would normally pick up, but we do usually try to pick up new with tags items and they actually comped pretty well. It's not a bad pair of shorts. It's not. And then he also found, I'm, I'm not going to open it up, but it's, I think it's like almost 60 by 60 maybe. Um, and it's kind of like an ombre effect baby blanket. It's really soft. It's really nice. It does have a little hole in it that looks like it would be easily repaired, but it's a handmade, like a nubby crochet baby blanket. Um, I didn't know how to price this, so I think we started it at $39.99. I think that's what it was. Yeah, so we're hoping that this will do well. We have done really, really well with handmade quilts and afghans and things like that in the past, so um, we didn't realize it had a hole in it when we grabbed it in the bins but we were still excited about it and listed it. So I think that will do fine because the last time we picked up a handmade quilt in the bins that had a hole in it as well. And I think we got like $80 for that. So that was good. Oh, and this is something that I was watching an, another user's, uh, another YouTuber's video last night and these CPAP machine 
face masks. I actually listed these on YouTube and then I saw on eBay on eBay. I actually listed these on eBay and I saw a video that said someone had been suspended and it was because of these masks. So do not let list these. It's very tempting because these sell for $20 a piece and a lot of other people have them listed. So I went in and immediately took them down. So I don't know if we're going to try to list these elsewhere and I don't know why they're not allowed. Maybe because CPAP machines are, you're required to have a prescription for them. And I don't know if you have to have a prescription for all the different components, but I'm going to look into this a little bit more. We currently do not have these listed and I don't know if we're going to list them elsewhere, but heads up on that. Then we got this bat. <laughs> which we're going to keep just in case, but no, it's a little souvenir bat from the, uh, the Louisville Slugger Museum. I don't think it priced very high, but we'll show mm. you on the screen. Anyway, this, this actually had, um, this had a lot of good comps in the listed items, but this particular brand didn't have anything in sold. It had sold solds and like similar items, different brands. So we'll see how this does. This is like a really nice one though that you would get at at a baby store. All the other ones that were solds were ones that were just more general sunshades that weren't necessarily marketed to moms with babies. So this is um, a sunshade for a car that you would put on the back to protect a baby from getting sun in his eyes, his or her eyes. Anyway, this comp for like $30, I think. So we'll see if that works out. And then we got a bunch, I think maybe five of I think these. It was five. Yeah, these um, Travis Matthew shirts, which I had never heard of, but we comped them and they sell at places like Nordstrom for like $89. And these are women's shirts, they're golf polos. But these that we particularly found um, are branded for the Charles Schwab challenge that takes place at Colonial Country Club in Fort Worth, which is near where we live. Um, so we got like, the, and these are women's shirts. We got five of different various sizes, all new with tags. So I couldn't find any of these online and I didn't know how much to list them for. So I listed them all for $59.99 and we'll see how they do. And we have a good feeling about them. So we'll see what happens with that. And then we found this Casper jacket, um, which is something, you know, that would be sold at Dillard's. It's a very small size. I don't know what's happening with my printer back there. There's a ghost in the printer. <laughs> there it is, there's a ghost in the printer. <laughs> It's He's cleaning ex itself. This printer is really excited about this Casper jacket. It's a two, it's a two petite. So that's the only downside on that jacket. Oh, and this was a really good find. This, I can't believe, because the, the clothes, the clothes bins were really cleaned out when we were there. There was, I mean, we were kind of digging through some garbage. And so when I looked in the bins and found these brand new with tags, Pearl Uzumi padded bike pants, cycling leggings, I was like, what? I could not believe it, but I did. And so I comped them and I think we listed them for like $65 ish. Something like that, yeah. yeah. So you'll see on the screen, but I was shocked that these were still in the bins. So super excited about that. That may have been the best clothing item of, of the of the entire day. I think it was. And then this guy, he's kind of smashed in this bag, but this is a pillow pet uh, and a polar bear. And we we sell a lot of pillow pets. I mean, we priced like, like most five. of the ones we've picked up. Yeah, we've sold. yeah. I think we maybe have like one left besides the brand new ones that we've picked up in the bins. And I couldn't find any polar bear pillow pets. Um, listed. So I did not know how to price him, so I priced him high. We'll see how he does. And then we always pick up always pick up like manuals. owner's manuals because they ran them, they, they sell. They we take have, up very little space. They ship media mail mm -hmm. and yeah. people buy them. It's, it, you know, I, I don't know why, but they buy them. 
We still have some that just have sat there forever, but we sell them regularly. And oh my gosh, this was a great find. My husband found this and it is a Viking range, which is a very expensive um, appliance brand. It's brand new in the package and it's a replacement knob for a gas range. And so when I comped this, like if I was just gonna go replace my oven knob or my range top knob, this would cost like $75 to get. So we priced it, I think at $59.99. And we only have, there's only one other one of this exact model listed on eBay and that one's used and ours is, you know, just a few dollars more than that. So I feel like we have the one that's gonna sell. Might take a while, but we have the one that's gonna sell. And then we found an Urban Outfitters reusable sling backpack. And that, those were seem those seem to have a good sell through and we found so many Lululemon reusable bags he, he found some I found some and so we lauded them all together and we have sold these in the past they have a great sell through and then we found some really cool hats that's the coolest this one. is the coolest this is a vintage like a true that vintage a sweet hat. hat yeah it has um like a stamp on the inside says made in the USA. And I don't 100% know what this logo is. Based on another seller's listing who I question whether or not they knew exactly what it was, but I listed it as DE Electric. It's a cool logo. And the other hat that they had listed was not nearly as cool as ours in my opinion. But this is, you know, a cool denim mesh trucker snapback hat. And we have it on auction starting at $39.99. And then we also found this um, TCU baseball hat. It was a Nike hat. Just an embroidered hat. And then we found some cool scrapbooking stickers. These are like... 3D where the butterfly wings are like coming up off the page. We found a lot of cool craft stuff. We found, um, this is navy cross stitch. Um, fabric. Yeah, fabric, thanks. Couldn't think of the word. And then this is called a grunge book. It's, I guess, something that you would use, to, it was, it's the scrapbook that you would use to put together. The actual scrapbook and then this is kind of like a specialty to-do list it says things to do after bridge it had a little hand printed price tag on there that said $22 I mean I don't know who's gonna pay $22 for a notepad but I priced it less than that seems like something that would be sold at you know some little cutesy boutique type place and then this was a really cute like if you're child was having a, a birthday party with a video game theme. This is a banner for that. Let's see what else did we find. Oh, we found this whole stack of Junie B. Jones books, vintage Junie B. Jones books. And then today when we were at a garage sale, my husband found there was this one garage sale that had like four boxes of Free, free books. books and he found another one so we'll probably go into the listing and add that one in here and then i actually picked up something new i picked up a pillow which we i don't think we've ever sold a pillow have we mm, maybe one yeah but this one was new with tags and i just thought it was pretty it had like embroidery on it and it just seemed like a really nice nice pillow and when i looked it up it was, so I listed it at $39.99. Nice Christmas pillow. People like nutcrackers. Yeah, they do. People do like nutcrackers. I wish that, that they had had another pair, but I don't know. Seems like the good, our Goodwill like gets the unsold stock from maybe the Hobby Lobby and it's Michaels. Always tons of craft items. We do, we have lots of craft items and some home decor items there. So I bet this came from, from there. And nobody ever picks up that stuff. We're, I feel like it's always just there waiting for us. We're always there last with the craft vultures. <laughs> we are. We are. Because it always sells. 
And then we found this, um, just new in package, just holiday garland. I don't know if it'll sell or not, but other people had it priced pretty high, so I just matched that. I think we listed it at like $24, which to me is crazy. I would never pay $24 for garland, but maybe someone will. Let's see, we also got Two other things. Right, we got another package of yarn that we already sold, which we'll show on the screen. It was like a striped yarn. And then we got some green merino wool yarn, which wool yarn always sells really well for us. And then this cotton yarn, um, it's, the color was called Monkey Bread to make like a soft monkey, I guess. So we'll see how that does. And then a bunch of crafts, like some pipe cleaners, this is actually a vintage music box that you would put inside a doll or a music box and it plays the song, Let Me Call You Sweetheart. So that was interesting, never seen anything like that. And then we got this Bagolini, it's like a sling backpack. It has um, orange lining and a bunch of really cool pockets and places for your cards and stuff like that so it has like even like a pocket on the strap it's a nice bag yeah it's really nice and then we got this internal cd drive is that what it is uh yes yeah it looks new in the package we think it's new in the package I listed it as new open box. And then this was really cool. This was, okay, when I researched this, it's called a relaxicizer. And it didn't have the cables and stuff that come off of it. But I think people use it now, like, or a product similar to this now, where you would put the, hook it up to you, and then it would cause your muscles to, like, twitch to increase the blood flow and stuff to your muscles. But back in the 50s six, and 60s, this was marketed as a weight loss product. And they would say that if you would hook it up and just sit there and like use it, you would, you would lose weight from using it. And um, then it got, it got banned for that purpose. Like it got banned as, the, as use as a weight loss technique. And so it's actually listed on eBay in the quack medicine category. Um, but this is just the base unit only. And this is the vintage unit from like the 60s. I just picked it up because it looks really yeah, cool. Really show, cool. Show them how, like. Well, and they'll be able to see it on yeah, the screen yeah. as well. It, it, it's, yeah, it's, it's called sweet. the Relaxicizer. And it actually says Hollywood, it was made in Hollywood, California on the bottom. It's really, really cool. And it's got this really cool like gold braided handle on the side. It's really neat. And then I was just saying in last in the one of the last videos, we never pick up board games at the Goodwill outlet. And we picked up two more board games. I'll take the blame for that. Yeah, we did. We picked up this one which is called Chauvinist Pigs. It was it's complete. Um it's got it's for adults. It's it's got, uh, it's like on, on the level of a game like Battle of the Sexes or something. It, um, anyway, it, it's got these two kind of like piggy bank things in it and you, um. It actually looks really cool on the inside. It does. So, oh yeah, here's the picture of the piggy banks. Anyway, you play with teams of two and it's, n it's not for kids. But, um, this is from like 1991, I think. And I don't know, it didn't comp that high, maybe like $25, but it was just so interesting looking, we wanted to give it a try. And then we were just, just the other day, we were watching um, Shell Bell, Michelle's video, and she had sold... I think it was new in package new, that new she in, got at an auction. Yes, a new in package Harry Potter scene, in. and she was talking about how valuable they are. And we <laughs> couldn't believe it when we saw this in the Goodwill bins, and then we were even more shocked when we opened it and found out it was complete. So we actually have this listed at $99.99, best offer. I counted every piece, they're yeah. all there. It's complete, 
I couldn't believe it. I was like, well, I mean, we literally, like, just the day before or two days before had just seen that video. It was like kismet that we had come across this at the Goodwill then. So um, I think that pretty much wraps it up. Everything else are, are just little things. So is there anything else you want to bring up? Nope. The only other cool thing in here that we found is this popcorn rock, which is, you put like vinegar and water on it and then it sprouts these, um, let's see what they're called, aragonite crystals. So I don't know, I thought about just keeping it and doing it myself, but <laughs> I think I'd rather have the money than the crystals. So, all right, well, that pretty much wraps it up. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give us a thumbs up. And please make sure to subscribe with the notifications on. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye.